but it's still very sad that we have been taught our own history by the British and not by anyone else, if at all by some Muslims. Our archaeological survey of India in since independence has done no exploration but only hiding or concealing if anything embarrassing has been um, dug up. Ayodhya is only a, a, the first, uh, shall we say, Kiran in the sunrise. We both baki hai. If we have the will to pursue it, it should be treated always as a national issue and not a religious one. So, this was supposed to be Dhai Din ka Jhopra kyo kaise usko ki saat ghanto me, six zero uh, hours it took to convert it from a from a triple mandir or teen mandir no se usko convert kar diya into a masjid aaj tak bhi wo masjid ke taur pe use hoti hai kabhi kabhi my friend mr panda jinhone uh, he is really the uh, the guru of what I have written and particularly he masterminded a this saffron book mein utna unhone nahi kiya tha jitna hindu masjid mein yogdan diya uske baad exchange of population which is a very important policy matter where Jinnah proposed Ambedkar supported or vice versa and uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad also had supported. And Gandhi ji said, no, no, our division is territorial and not religious. Division means the partition. So, yes, of Panda Sahib ka, he is a very learned person, an economist by training, but turned into a medieval historian uh, after retirement from the government of India. However, since we have to begin, let us say that it's not, I'm not very proud to say this, that most of our sources are British and a few others Muslim and hardly any Hindu. And as far as we are concerned, jaha Hindu source mila bhi to hum logo ne avoid kiya hai. Kyunki people will question the impartiality and objectivity. But it's still very sad that we have been taught our own history by the British and not by anyone else, if at all by some Muslims. Secondly, talking about solutions, although that has been put last in this label, I would say that we should not have treated this, jo ho gaya so ho gaya, lekin abhi se we can open a new chapter, that when dealing with this problem of Rabi problem ki shuruati hai, Ayodhya is only a, a, the first, uh, shall we say, Kiran in the sunrise. <laughs> we both baki hai. Uh, if we have the will to pursue it, it should be treated always as a national issue and not a religious one. Ye religious karke confusion hota hai. The moment you make it a national issue, the question of government not participating or supporting will not arise. The government would have the right to choose whether to support you or not, but it would have no hesitation in supporting you if it is a national issue. Now, why do I say this is because, let's go back to our own Sardar Patel, uh, who for the first time visited Junagad, Junagad ka to naam sab ne suna hoga, uh, that had actually exceeded to Pakistan as you probably remember. He visited it on the 12th of November. 
1947, two months, nearly two months after the partition or the independence uh, day. And after finishing his work in the morning, Sardar Sahib went to, which is quite near, to Somnath. Because it was always working on his mind, ki ye Somnath, particularly if you are a, in Gujarat, uh, Somnath is more on your mind than either Ayodhya or, or uh, Jan, uh, Krishna Janma Bhumi or for that matter Kashi Vishwanath. Uh, so, Somnath, he visited in the afternoon on the 12th of November, 47, and immediately gave instructions that we have to build a, an impressive, good temple of Lord Shiva in, on the beach, uh, which is on the Arabian Sea. Uh, and um, must do it quickly. And later when he went back, he gave instructions or he made a request to um, Sri Kanayalal Munshi. I'm sure, have you heard his name? He is probably the most uh, outstanding uh, literator in Gujarati, liter you know, Gujarati literature. Um, and it was Kanayalal Munshi who directed, or shall we say, from a distance supervised the construction of the new temple. And by 1951, it was ready. And it was inaugurated by Dr. Rajendra Prasad, our first president, much against the wishes of Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru. But being a government project, financed by public uh, funding, uh, the government did not pay. That was Gandhiji's wish. Oops, maybe Gandhiji was interested in uh, interfering. So, this is the irony of it. Now, um, Nehru could not put his foot down. However arrogant he may have been or dictatorial. And uh, so, Rajendra Prasad went and uh, inaugurated the temple. This was some, sometime in 51. Now, it was, as I said, this was a first example of the government of India supervising or directing the building of a temple for Somnath. Now, if Somnath is not communal, as our uh, traditional uh, people say, the secularists, if Somnath is not a communal issue, which one is it? Am I making sense? So, what's the problem with, uh, say, for example, had it been Ayodhya? But over religious ho gaya na, so uh, government cannot uh, do anything, Supreme Court gets into the way, etc., etc., all the complications. To give another example, uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of Sir uh, Arnold Toynbee the philosopher of history, uh, the most distinguished one, who's talked about in his 10 volumes about how civilizations rise and decline, challenge and response. But that's not the issue here. He was being a, such a distinguished man. Um, Mr. Nehru, as Prime Minister, invited him to deliver the Azad Memorial, uh, Azad means uh, Abul Kalam Azad Memorial uh, Lecture. And in the course of that lecture, mm -hmm. Sir Arnold said that he is very embarrassed, if not also ashamed, that you people have not replaced Aurangzeb's Masjid in Banaras. Uh, which is a stark sight, despite your having had a partition and now you have your own state. It is a, it's an insult to your state to not, to tolerate the presence of such a abomination. Because he gave an example 
of Warsaw in Poland which somewhere down 1812 or so had been conquered by the surround neighboring three, four states and had gone out of existence actually, Poland. And in the process, Russia, the Russian Tsarist Russian Empire had taken over Warsaw City and converted the main Catholic Church of Warsaw into a Eastern Orthodox Christian Church which was to humiliate the Polish people because there were not many Orthodox Christians in Poland. It was a Catholic country as you know, even today it is. As soon as the World War First, World War ended and there was no question of Russia then, so Poland became free, most of it. And as soon as it became free and the Polish government took over, they actually knocked down, demolished the same church, the Eastern Orthodox Conver uh, converted church and built afresh a Catholic church of the same old size as the previous one. Now, this is what I'm trying to say is that it was all Christianity Orthodox or minor changes apart, the, the, the basic religion was the same. And yet, because they took it as a matter of national honor and not a religious matter only, they, they, they did it officially, openly and proudly. Whereas we are very diffident and shy about it. This is a remnant of the Nehruvian era. Uh, but I think we must change, particularly young people like you. Uh, you must change your outlook. I mean, a chap like me has really not seen much of the post Nehruvian era. Uh, although I was in parliament during Mr. Bajpai's time. But Mr. Bajpai's uh, prime ministership was a continuity of or continuation of the Nehruvian tradition. In fact, sometimes one felt sitting there that uh, we were more Nehruvian than Nehru. To give you just one example, there was DMK, one of the coalition partners. Now DMK is either, a, you see, it's, it's not a Hindu party at all. And yet they were happily sitting in coalition. But can you imagine the policy compromises in order to keep them in the coalition? So this is the problem and they were not really necessary. The majority was sufficient to not have DMK. However, so when you take these instances, I am emphasizing this because the details of the masjids and the, uh, the original temples are there in whatever little we could find out uh, and it's in the book. Um, but this principle has never been voiced before that it should be treated as a national issue and not religious. Because the moment you say religious, communal ho gaya, ye ho gaya, and certainly all the government, state as well as center is out of the picture. And that weakens the hands of the cause. Now, of course, there are the, this is a, these are all very sad tales. The first one we went and saw, or at least the one I remember most, uh, was Ajmer, where, where people all rush in almost millions to Moinuddin Chishti's uh, Darga you know what is called Ajmer Sharif. Kahan kahan se log aate hain, Bangladesh se bhi chale aate hain. Lekin koi jata nahi hai ek furlong aage bazaar ke zariye to what is called dhai din ka jhopda. It's only one furlong uh, far. And uh, while we had gone three of us to Ajmer uh, and we did not feel enthused to go into the Ajmer Sharif 
اینڈ سم گڈ مین آن دا اسٹریٹ سجیسٹیڈ کیا آپ وہ یہاں کیوں نہیں جاتے ہیں تو کہاں بھائی تو یہ بازار کے تھرو گزریے اور آپ کو ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دا بازار یو ول فائنڈ اے ویری ٹال مسجد کال ڈھائی دن کا جھونپڑا if i remember the words correctly and we reached there and there were of course stray as you will see from some photographs also in the book when you, if you do see the book um the stray people are lying there sleeping etc in other words no visitors we were the only visitors am i right mr banda that day there was nobody else there were just people lying around so دس واز سپوز ٹو بی ڈھائی دن کا جھونپڑا کیوں کہتے ہیں اس کو کہ ساٹھ گھنٹوں میں سکس زیرو آورس اٹ ٹوک ٹو کنورٹ اٹ فرام اے فرام اے ٹریپل مندر اور تین مندروں سے اس کو کنورٹ کر دیا ان ٹو اے مسجد آج تک بھی وہ مسجد کے طور پہ یوز ہوتی ہے کبھی کبھی کوئی آ جاتا ہے تو ہی از الاؤڈ ٹو پرے and uh, why is it 60 hours because it was converted in 60 hours ayodhya was also uh, at least wo jo babri structure tha chahe wo maqbara ho ya masjid it is very difficult to ascertain and particularly now that it doesn't exist but usko bhi uh, 60 ghanton mein khatam kiya gaya tha So that should also be because uh, the, it's, this is to remember that this example was set by uh, the conversion of uh, Dhai Din Ka Jhopda. So the, a lot has been written on this by Alexander Cunningham in the, we found this in uh, the 22 volumes that the archaeological society had published. on Cunningham's journey. Have you heard of Cunningham? Many people may not have. Alexander Cunningham, he has really done more archaeology in India than anybody else. Would that be correct, Fanda, do you think? Undoubtedly, I think. So, and a great deal has been written by him. Uh, there were three very tall temples, beautifully carved. This is 1192 or so, soon after the, uh, uh, the defeat and killing of Prithviraj Chauhan. Usi trip me, from what we heard or what we read uh, after the Battle of the Rand, second battle. And it's a very sad sight because it's temple all the way. The carvings are perhaps Hindu all the way and yet it is a masjid. You, uh, you know, it's not a temple because the murti and the, the, the uh, garbhagra, etc. all has been uh, removed and destroyed. And some minbar is there and uh, the mehrab is there for direction to Makkah. And outside, somebody later has uh, made an Islamic screen which is praised by these people. ہمیں تو کچھ خاص سمجھ میں آیا نہیں کیونکہ سب عربی میں تھا تو اینی وے اٹ از اے پریٹی لوکنگ اسکرین آن ان فرنٹ سو دیٹ واز دی کنورشن اینڈ اینڈ دی اسٹوری بہائنڈ اٹ از دیٹ محمد غوری اینڈ آئی بک وزٹیڈ دیٹ پلیس سون آفٹر دی بیٹل آف ترین اینڈ Gauri was very impressed by the temple, so he said, Isko hata dijiye and make a masjid here. So the only way, and I want to pray here on my way back. So Aibak, being a good slave, took the shortest cut possible and in 60 hours had it ready. And soon came Muhammad Gauri and prayed there. And I suppose he must have given a shabashi to Khutbuddin uh, Aibak. Same is the unfortunate story. Probably earlier than this or later, I'm not sure, uh, of our 
الاسلام ان نیئر امیجیٹلی نیئر قطب مینار آئی ایم شیور ایوری بڈی ایز وزٹیڈ اور جو لے مین ہیں جو اس وشے کو سمجھتے نہیں ہیں انہوں نے شاید نوٹس بھی نہ کیا ہو کہ کیا کیا اتیاچار ہوئے ان آڈر ٹو کنسٹرکٹ دس پیکولیئر مکسڈ اگلی اسٹرکچر دیٹ واز ڈن ٹوینٹی سیون جین ٹیمپلس اکارڈنگ ٹو دس مین بیگلر آف دی آرکیولوجیکل سروے آف انڈیا ایٹین سیونٹی ون اینڈ ہی کوٹس آف کورس سم دس ابن بٹوٹا اینڈ ہی ٹاکس اباؤٹ ویریس ویز ان ہاؤ ہیپنڈ اینڈ آل دیٹ سارٹ آف تھنگ اینڈ سر سید احمد خان آف دا فیمس علی گڑھ یونیورسٹی ہی ہیڈ ریٹن لیٹر آن دس اینڈ ایف یو ریڈ واٹ ہی ہیز ریٹن ناٹ مچ آئی مین ہی از گیٹنگ گریٹ ڈیلائٹ اینڈ پلیزر ان ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ وی کانکرز ڈسٹرائڈ دی جائن ٹیمپلس اینڈ ہاؤ جائن اور واٹ ایور ٹیمپلس اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ واز یو نو ری کنسٹرکٹیڈ ری ڈیزائنڈ ان ٹو اے دس کوت الاسلام دا مائٹ آف اسلام مسجد دس از دی فاؤنڈر آف علی گڑھ مسلم یونیورسٹی بٹ واٹ از ویری انٹرسٹنگ اینڈ ہیز بین فوٹوگرافڈ اینڈ پرنٹیڈ از اے امیج آف گنیش ان سیورل پلیسز پرٹیکولرلی آن دی آؤٹ سائڈ وال آف دی سو کالڈ مسجد دا سیم ٹریجڈی یو سی ان کناؤج وچ وی ہیو ڈسکرائبڈ ایز دا واٹر لو آف آریہ ورت ختم ہو گیا سب دا کیپیٹل آف نارتھ نارتھ انڈیا واز ڈسٹرائڈ آئی سپوز اٹ واز اٹ واز فرسٹ وزٹیڈ بائی محمود آف گزنی اینڈ آئی تھنک ہی فوکسڈ لیس آن ڈسٹرکشن اینڈ مور آن لوٹ اینڈ رابری اینڈ محمد غوری کانسنٹریٹیڈ آن ڈسٹرکشن تو اٹس اینڈ دیر آر سیورل اسٹرکچرس بیکاز کنوج آفٹر آل واز اے سٹی اینڈ ٹوڈے اٹ از این اتر گارڈن اینڈ اتر پروڈکشن آئی مین روز گارڈن اینڈ اتر پروڈکشن ایریا آل دیز کنسٹرکشنز اینڈ بلڈنگ لولی تھنگس ہیو بین مور اور لیس فنشڈ اور ان اے ڈسٹرائڈ کنڈیشن اور کنورٹیڈ دس کنورشن از انادر انٹرسٹنگ تھنگ از دیٹ اٹ سیمس ٹو می اینڈ آئی ایم نو اسکالر دیٹ پروبیبلی انٹل دا لوز کیم دیز کانکرز ور ناٹ ایبل ٹو اور ڈیڈ ناٹ برنگ دیئر آرکیٹیکٹس اور بلڈرس ایز اے ریزلٹ دے ٹوک دی شارٹ کٹ ٹو امیجیٹلی کنورٹ دی آئیڈیل ایگزامپل بینگ ڈھائی دن کا جھونپڑا وچ واز ڈن ان سکسٹی آورس سو دوز کنورژنس دین ود دی لوز کیم دے براڈ دیئر اون اسٹائل آف آرکیٹیکچر اینڈ دے آر آل اوور دی پلیس ایز یو نو پرٹیکولرلی ان ان دی واٹ شیل بی سے دی gardens, lodi gardens and other places. Uh, but before that are these conversions. And we in our book have tried to focus on conversions as opposed to recycled masjids, where the whole temple is brought down to plinth level. And then with that same malba, or most of the same malba, is rebuilt on an Islamic design, or more or less Islamic design. Incidentally, this reminds me that this uh, Mir Baki's uh, Ayodhya, um, Babri structure, did not have a 
سینٹرل وضو کہتے ہیں نا اس کو ہاتھ واتھ دھونے کے لیے پیر دھونے کے لیے عبادت کے پہلے وہ تھا نہیں اور ایک مینار بھی نہیں تھا ناٹ ون مینار سو دیٹ از وائی مائی سسپیشن دیٹ اٹ واز اے مقبرہ فار آئدر میر باقی ان سیل وار فار بابر اینڈ ناٹ اے مسجد ایٹ آل اینڈ وی ہیو بین فیڈ ود دس ہمبگ اینڈ وی سیم ٹو ہیو سوالوڈ اٹ دس از اے سسپیشن پلیز ڈونٹ ٹیک اٹ ایز اے ویٹیڈ اوپینین سو محمود غزنی اینڈ دین آف کورس محمد غوری سبسیکوینٹلی ہو ڈسٹرائڈ دی سٹی اینڈ دیٹس وین آئی تھنک سون دیر آفٹر جے چند ڈائڈ ہی واز ڈراؤنڈ ان دی گنگا انفارچونیٹلی بٹ مور انٹرسٹنگ از ان اے وے از برنداون Gobind Dev Temple. I'm sure some of you must have gone to Vrindavan and seen it or not. This is of course a sketch, pencil sketch. We haven't got a, uh, the, the temple as it stands today. Yeah, no. Doesn't matter. This is of course the outside wall. Uh, but uh, in the book it is there. where a tall, probably 120 feet tall uh, mandir uh, was chopped into by, by half on orders of Aurangzeb in 1670 or so uh, because his ego was offended that there is some wretched f- flame burning which I can't escape every evening, whether I'm in Delhi or I'm in Agra, because it is visible in both places. So, it's go hata do, tor do. As a result, on his instruction, before his forthcoming visit, whenever it was, maybe three or eight months later, um, this was cut into half. And, uh, of course, the Murti, because the, it was announced that Aurangzeb, the emperor will come and etc, etc. So the Pujari and all knew that they are going to come, they will kill, they will kill, this will happen. So he had transferred it to uh, Jaipur, where it was duly hidden. So that way it was saved. But nevertheless, the sanctum sanctorum was uh, destroyed. Now, all this has been brought out by uh, F.S. Grouse. Now, again, we fall back on a British source. Uh, Grouse was the district collector of Mathura for many years. And in those days, it was called Bengal Civil Service because East India Company's headquarters were in Calcutta. And he has written a marvelous book on his district. and really moving and we say that even a Hindu would not have been as sincere in his job uh, as Grouse has been in describing what has happened to what what happened or what he has been able to discover as to what happened uh, in his district Mathura. So then that thing that you saw, the Mehrab, a pencil sketch, for his prayer, Aurangzeb's prayer, that Mehrab was built on top, on the roof, so that the Jhapana could pray. And having prayed, uh, it was there, of course, for anybody else to join prayers. Uh, and it was much later that this same man, the district collector, F.S. Grouse, had uh, he, he could not bear its sight so he had it knocked out so today if you go there uh, it is just the original temple uh, but half and uh, the roof is flat 
the rather a pathetic sight in its own way and all the murtis except two uh, as their faces have been disfigured completely chopped and cut no eyes no nose etc and of course when uh, tourists go there or visitors go there the muslims in the buses the tourist buses severely object ki yahan kyon le aaye ye bakwas band kijiye aap that kind of <laughs> remark because they don't want to others to they, they feel they, they're embarrassed but they they have much to be embarrassed about except that we haven't taken the trouble to embarrass them mathura again um most of the lot of the contribution is well i think al baruni has done the first lot uh, in ghazni's time uh, who looted so much gold silver and uh, precious stones that there were 100 camels were required for transporting it to ghazni you can imagine the amount of stuff they he stole rather and uh, of course al baruni again is quoted by f s grouse in his book uh, you know a member of a district collector and uh, this is the this was the end first end of the keshav dev uh, temple and later of course several people uh, came and robbed and looted and destroyed but aurangzeb was the final destroyer and whatever was left of the temple i think on that mound filled up is been built on top an idga which is what you see now if you go and there is a uh, armed uh, chap with a rifle a guard standing there who says sab andar mat aaiye we went when we went there he said the same thing please mat aaiye andar but we nevertheless went inside because the gate was open and had a good tour of the idga there nothing there it's a very ordinary idga outside it looks quite impressive and uh, you can see it from the yard the court where from where you go and do darshan of uh, krishna which looks like a servants quarter from what it was and what it is today it's a most humiliating for any hindu to go there if he knows only the background most people unfortunately don't know the background they thought ke yahi hoga and so nobody feels it but those who have happened to have read the background they feel terrible and why can't we make it a national issue and take it over that's the only solution otherwise how will you ever solve the the question of uh, 3000 estimated which are proved by epigraphs because the one, there is one great thing about the muslims they were not shy about what they did they would record ke nawab sahab aaye the sultan sahab aaye the बादशाह आए थे और उन्होंने ये हुक्म दिए एंड ये 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 हुआ वी वुड नेवर से इट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई मीन एज और सेकेंडली अदर थिंग इज आर दी रिटर्न रिकॉर्ड्स एनी थिंग बेस्ड ऑन दैट दो थ्री थाउजेंड टेम्पल दैट दे टॉक अबाउट देर इज अ बुक एज यू नो दे आर ऑल वन और दी अदर रिटर्न रिकॉर्ड्स or epigraphs or both now but all of these are not con- uh, converted they are recycled because once the lodis came thereafter it is all recycling most of it like the amedabad uh, jama masjid is uh, you can't make out there is all the facilities are there everything but originally there was a a krishna temple विष्णु टेम्पल 
this uh, on in our book uh, hindu masjid there is uh, uh, there is a atala devi chapter uh, now this is a mixture of conversion and uh, uh recycling uh, because you can see ke kuch na kuch changes hue hain and it's quite large but jaunpur which i'm sure some of you must have been to is the most ugly place uh, because every third fourth uh, building or uh, house is a masjid ne right? slaughter house oh, that's right and awful looking uh, construction etc etc but there are still four or five converted masjids there uh, atala devi is the central one of course it's still called atala masjid actually devi i have added we have added uh, just to let us say make it humorous but uh, it's a basti of masjid as i've said um, there was a bijay mandal mandir which is now was converted uh, on the order of the nawab called barbak ibrahim barbak i think and khairuddin is the historian of jaunpur and he has said that bija mandal was converted into khalis mukhlis named after some earlier governors or something and another one was uh, chak Chakpur, which, which has been converted into a Jhanjri Masjid. The pictures are there in this uh, book, and uh, it's a very painful sight. So much so that a friend, in, introduced by someone, uh, he lent a, his shopkeeper assistant, "Ki jao inko Jaunpur dekha ke le aao." so we got hold of a tonga and he sat in front and we sat at the back or some, made some arrangement and he would whisper to us he would not and he didn't have the courage to tell us the story of jaunpur or the ke bhai ye ye fala masjid hai ya ye idhar qatal khana hai ya ye kuch hai ya kuch nahi hai he would just whisper sab kahi koi sun na le that is the extent of fear in our own country at least as we experienced it then i hope in the last 5 years we are less afraid now this uh, uh, bhoj shala that is in dhar dhar is it dhar or dhar dhar, dhar. Uh, on the way to mandu from indore uh, we three of us got down from our car and there were three central reserve police people in mufti not in uniform and they stopped us saying up sorry sir but andar nahi ja sakte is it kyun he said government ka mana hai sakht order hai to meherbani karke hame majboor mat kijiye aap log please बाहर से ही दर्शन करके जा, जाएं। अगर आपको खास इच्छा हो मस्जिद देखने की तो लाट मस्जिद देखिए उस उस पहाड़ पे है पहाड़ तो नहीं बेट हो जाए हिलक हिल सो इवेंचुअली ही टू कस इन टू कॉन्फिडेंस इज इज द हुकम इज दैट हिंदूज कैन गो ऑन वसंत पंचमी once a year only and uh, muslims can go every friday for two hour up to two hours not more and any other religion is not allowed at all now this was built by, apparently by the uh, raja bhoj and was a mandir kam paatshala kam library of those days 11th century and 
we just had a peep through the gate, but there was nothing much we could see. And it was very unfortunate. He says the only uh, suggestion, okay, these reserve, Central Reserve Police officer, uh, well, Jawan said, yeah, district collector ko mili agar wo permission deta hai likke, tab phir hum jane denge. But that would have been too complicated. So we left it because we were on our way to Mandu Fort. And the whole visit would have been upset. And that order of once a year or once a week, that order still stands despite 15 years of our government. As far as we know. If you can find out better by writing an RTI or something, better still. It would be interesting. The other interesting one is Siddhpur in Gujarat. You may have heard of it, may not have heard of it. The, it's a central place for the Boras of, have you, you know the Boras uh, or not? Boras are a particular community, Shias, for the last 500 odd years, when they were converted. And they're quite good traders. And they all, when you meet a Bora, uh, he will make one thing clear. That we were originally Brahmins, and only Brahmins, and then we were converted. Next thing he'll do is to order a, a beef steak. <laughs> so, but they're nice chaps otherwise, and uh, not militant. Uh, and they make good money, and along with the Khojas and Mehmans, they are the richest Muslims in India. By far, the Muslims cannot claim, if they go by these samples, that they are a poor community. It's elsewhere that the so-called poverty is there. Now, coming to Siddhpur, there's another very interesting example. Siddhpur, we went in, and as we got off our vehicle, two of us, um, we saw two, some reserve police jawans having a good sleep after an early lunch. It was afternoon and quite hot. And they were snoring. And so the two of us had a good walking tour of the inside compound. This is that compound which is a or bhi ek gate ka, lekin hamare paas tasveer nahi hai. But whenever you advertise, they see an advertisement of Gujarat tourism, that gate is shown. Uh, it's rather a nice artistic one, probably a thousand and odd years old. A very strange thing, four little uh, templates or whatever you call them, both there is char. In unme ek me murti abhi bhi hai, ling hai. Or pani girta hai upar se. In other words, maha puja ho sakti hai. Teen blank hai. In other words, destroyed. And seven others are meant to be buried in the great hill, hillock, which is the continuation of the compound. And there is a road on top. And seven mandirs are buried. And on the request of the local community, not dug up. But very interestingly, in 1959 or somewhere, there was a strong representation from the uh, community, local community, Siddhpur, that please, our place, our Jami Masjid, they call it, uh, it should be beautified. So after some years, somebody woke up and the archaeological survey decided as late as 1973 or something to beautify. And some budget was granted and beautification started with having to dig up the surrounding, you know, area where a garden would be laid and all that. During this uh, digging up was found 
वेरियस लवली आर्टी आर्टिफैक्ट्स केम आउट इंक्लूडिंग ए नंदी बुल एंड ऑल दैट सो दैट क्रिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ एम्बेरसमेंट सो इट वॉज डिसाइडेड बाई द लीडर्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी दैट वी मेक अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड इमीजिएट रिक्वेस्ट टू द आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे अथॉरिटीज टू प्लीज बेरी दिस बैक इसको वापस कर दीजिए एंड a lawyer's name was qureshi who writes a long report for the minorities national what is it national minorities commission uh, report number 4 of 1983 he then devotes 38 pages describing the whole event starting from the pressure to beautify and ending with the burial of all the things that were dug up so that is the what is a f- outstanding example that our archaeological survey of india in since independence has done no exploration but only hiding or concealing if anything embarrassing has been um, dug up nothing has been done and if you see most of the monuments including the janji masjid and all that then that uh, khalis uh, etc those masjid in jaunpur they rusted nobody is able to take care of them and because i suppose the budget must be running out and there are probably lot of officers who know nothing or maybe take a tour once in a while so it's a very tragic thing and the archaeological survey really whether it should continue as it is or should be closed and something else created i don't know but then i don't think our culture ministers probably take much interest they're busy with their own preoccupations and as a result it's a neglect however this uh, uh, funny thing happened these two chair fellows who were sleeping in uh, the jami masjid at uh, uh, sidpur when they woke up because of our movement they said hey aap kaise aa gaye andar in they, they talked in gujarati but obviously they were uh, saurashtra reserve police anyway so he said hum aa gaye kyun aapka darwaza khula hai are aap na aate to acha tha maaf kijiyega lekin आपके यहाँ हाजिरी से अगर कोई देख लेगा तो हमारी डिसमिसल हो जाएगी क्योंकि हमें सख्त ऑर्डर है कि किसी को आने नहीं देना है वरना रायट हो सकता है और एक दो तीन रायट हो चुके हैं सो से अब आप जल्दी से प्लीज चले जाइए प्लीज हाथ जोड़ के कहते हैं हम हमारी नौकरी बचाने के लिए एंड वी इवेंचुअली से ऑल राइट दस मिनट में चले जाएंगे तो ये सर नहीं नहीं दस मिनट नहीं आप पाँच मिनट में चले जाइए तो इसे कहा कि अच्छा तो ये हम नहीं फिर जाएंगे ही नहीं हम यहीं बैठ सो जाएंगे जैसे आप सो रहे थे वैसे ही हम सो जाएंगे तो क्या करोगे तो इसे अच्छा अच्छा साहब आप जल्दी से चले जाइएगा बस हम मिनट का कोई लिमिट नहीं रखते हैं वैसे करके हम बाहर आए एंड देन ऑफकोर्स आफ्टर दैट आई थिंक मिस्टर फांडा डिस्कवर्ड Uh, that uh, report minorities commission report and that gave 38 pages can you believe it and but there is what this is again another characteristic that they are frank in what happened that they are not embarrassed to say that we started this movement for improving we dis- we were embarrassed to see these things coming out and we re- requested including the chief minister of gujarat ke bhai isko आप किसी न किसी तरह दफना दीजिए वापस कर दीजिए दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ फील्ड इंसिडेंटली फॉर दोज हु डोंट नो जस्ट एज गया इज द फॉर द अंतिम फाइनल श्राद्ध फॉर आवर पेरेंट्स फादर साइड देर इज अ बिंदु सागर इन सिद्धपुर विच इज फॉर द मदर साइड विच मेनी पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ शोज दैट we are more interested in our father's shrad than in our mother's shrad am i right or not what are the ladies to say 
So I think uh, details are plenty, but uh, that will only help to put you to sleep. Uh, the same way as the Siddhpur uh, uh, reserve police people. So I don't think I'll go on. I think we can happily stop here.